And just like that, 2,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel. It's a big goal of mine. Uh, another little milestone as I try and grow this thing. But if you're new here, I tell the stories on Freelancer and I also just try and help the younger me. I know that that might be a cliche little tagline, but it's really the approach that I take. And the fact that I'm 23 years old, turning 24 in a few weeks, I believe I am very relatable to a lot of younger creators who are just starting out in this game because whenever you go into it and you're like, oh, I want to work for the biggest brands in the world. I want to do all of my work in sports. It doesn't feel very attainable, but if I can even get you 1% closer to getting to that point or even believing in yourself a little bit more, then uh, I'm doing this job all right. Over the past few years, I have been fortunate enough to make a living in freelance photo and video. And over time, I've realized how this is not the case for everybody. I've kind of went at it with this approach of some stuff just for the money and for the consistency to keep out there, keep using my camera, some stuff for the sake of creativity. Definitely lean further into the money bucket whenever I was starting out, but I think that was more so out of desperation to start making a dollar and prove to myself and prove to other people that I can do this thing in film. Now, over the past few years, I've upped my numbers a little bit year over year, done over six figures and work, which is not a flex. It's just me trying to prove to you what's realistic. And I've now gotten to a point where I don't necessarily need to take as many of the jobs that just pay the bills, which I am extremely fortunate about. But at the same time, it's been a weird little battle. And full transparency here, I haven't talked about it before on this channel because I don't know why, but I have done a lot of real estate video over the past few years. They gave me work at the beginning. I was a full-time editor for them. Then I started filming for them. And that was like the quantity of my work that I had to do a lot of work to make a little bit of money and spent a ton of time working on these videos. And that gets me to this point of why I'm even making this thing. This year, the intention is to, intention, I sound like a crazy person. My goal for this year is to work on more purposeful projects. And so by that, I mean, I haven't dove very deep into pre-production really at all in my career. It's been show up, figure it out whenever you get there. A lot of the times the pre-production would come from whoever was hiring me, whether it was the agency or somebody else. And then they would just tell me the day before I got there. So I still didn't really have a great idea of what I was doing. And so going into this year, I'm trying to make videos that stand the test of time. Right away, my first video that I make isn't going to be the best video, the best documentary or longer form video you've ever seen. But there is something to, I've gotten so good at making these hype social media videos, which are great. A lot of VFX, a lot of different sound design, but it goes on the company's Instagram, pops off for a second, dies after 48 hours. Nobody but me ever thinks about it ever again. Working in a direction where that is not the case is a massive goal of mine, and it's not one that would just get presented to me. So just this past weekend, I was in Atlanta for Under Armour. As you guys know, I do a little bit of work for Under Armour. And this year, they asked me to produce some longer form video, which I'm super excited about. And I keep telling them, I'm like, this is not something that happens very often. And I'm very grateful that they're coming to me to produce this longer form because they trust me and they know that I do good work. But I'm like, I don't really have anything to show you that I can do this. So if it came to me pitching to them of why we should do this, who knows if it would happen, but it's them buying into, hey, we think you can pull this off. We know you can pull this off even if you don't have a ton of work to show. Now, that's not a little bit poetic. I don't know what is because like a week before I was done with my real estate video job, I got hit up to do this documentary project and all I was saying was I want these videos to be more purposeful. 
I don't want to film on a phone as much if I don't have to. And I know that's a very 2024 thing to say, but like, you got to understand it a little bit, right? Like, I, I want to be an artist a little bit. I understand you got to pay the bills and this year will be a change. Maybe I'll make less money cool like i'm just trying to move things in the correct direction because you always hear people like oh well, you got to take the risk you gotta do this you gotta do that and it's a lot harder whenever it's your own life and so i guess this entire thing is just about how i'm taking a risk that on the outside doesn't make a whole lot of sense and there are a few things i'm focused on number one is this docu-series project and projects similar to that where it's more documentary style more telling stories longer form over a minute long that's a huge priority for me this year number two this youtube channel right here i've said it for the past two years i think now maybe it was just last year my goal was to make one penny off of youtube now we have made a couple of strides here haven't made a penny yet, don't get me wrong. Almost, like, kind of close. I'm at 3,000 watch hours. We'll get there eventually. You need 4,000 to monetize. And I actually just got my first free product, which is cool. Um, got a camera bag from the brand that I bought my first ever camera bag from. So that's very full circle. First time I'm like, oh, brands buy into this stupid little thing that I'm doing too. And um, so that's pretty cool. We're making strides. So that's number two, YouTube. And then number three is keep doing what I do best. Keep doing the things that are gonna push me in the right direction. Work on those projects that I know I'm already good at. I'm still gonna work in social media. I know that I'm good at making social media videos, but try and push the boundaries so that I'm not super comfortable in doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Because that's not the goal at the end of the day. Definitely not the goal whenever I'm 23 years old. As much as I've been doing this thing for a few years, I need to still push the boundaries once in a while. And I need to still take a risk once in a while. Got some fun ones lined up, some different vlog style BTS that I haven't done in the past. I got one that I've been sitting on for a few months that if you saw I interviewed a bunch of MLB players this past fall, I vlogged that whole thing and made a whole behind the scenes video of that. I edited a drone video for Marquette Basketball and directed that as well. Got a whole behind the scenes video on that that I'm working on. Maybe I will be putting out a little BTS on one of the documentaries for Under Armour. Wink, wink. That's probably going to happen for every single episode. And in the meantime, I appreciate you guys watching. This is a huge goal of mine. I'm going to try and stick to two videos a week. As work gets busier, it gets a little bit harder, but... We're going to keep trying because this is a big goal of mine. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. We just hit that 2,000 mark. I'm proud of that. But we're just going to keep on keeping on. Maybe I'll make that penny this year. Also, 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 before I let you go, I got a new camera on the way. It just so might uh, start with an F and end in a 6. You'll see that in a few weeks.